An Iranian man has been arrested and charged with spying on Israel. Israeli authorities claim the man was gathering intelligence on potential targets for terrorist attacks. The Israeli government says the suspect, Ali Mansouri, was spying for Iran and was carrying photos of various sites around Israel, including the U.S. Embassy in Tel Aviv. Alex Manns was the name he was traveling under using a Belgian passport. He is of Iranian extraction. He was 55 years old and born in Iran. Mansouri was arrested at an Israeli airport on September 11th while trying to leave the country. This was Mansouri's third trip to Israel this year. His arrest was placed under a gag order and has only now been made public. Officials say Mansouri had photos of the U.S. Embassy and other facilities around Israel on him at the time of his arrest. Israel's government believes the photographs were meant to aid attacks on the Jewish state. Israeli police say Mansouri claimed he was working in Israel as a window salesman and admitted to spying for the Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps, a branch of Iran's military that was designated a terrorist organization by the Bush administration. According to CNN, investigators say Mansouri told them he was sent to Israel to set up an intelligence network and was promised one million U.S. dollars for spying on the country. The charges come just after Iran's leaders reached out to the U.S. President Obama and Iran's president spoke on the phone last week, marking the first direct contact between leaders of the two countries in nearly 30 years. One Israeli official told the Times of Israel, at a time when Iran is trying to get closer to the U.S., it sent an agent to try to gather intelligence in order to carry out a terror attack against the American embassy in Israel. This is just one further example of Iran's policy of double speak and further proof that Iran's words do not match its actions. Mansouri was born in Iran in 1958 and lived there until 1980. He's now a citizen of Belgium. For Newsy, I'm Matt Moreno.